There was a spot at the show I was at tonight where the female manager, I'm not going to say her name, I don't remember it, to be honest with you, got in the ring and she went in to intercept a high spot where I was jumping off the second rope, or I think it was the top rope, and she was blocking her friend, her boyfriend technically, but she's the manager of the stable, and she kind of turned the wrong way, he kind of turned her and she hit her, he hit her kind of awkwardly, I don't know if that happened or if her face hit, it all happened so fast, her face hit the mat. She got up and she was like, blood was pouring out of her left nostril like a hose. And I'm like, oh shit, and she looked woozy, she didn't panic or anything though. And she just walked out and there was blood dripping everywhere, and I felt pretty bad. And there was another spot in the show where there was a hardcore match between Mr. Tommy Dreamer and da -da 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 -da, another wrestler, I don't remember his name, but they did a spot where they put two chairs together and they had, Dreamer had the guy do, he flipped him off the top rope and he went back first right into the tops of the two chairs put together with the seats like this. His spine went right on there. And then to top that all off, he slammed him on another chair, body slammed him, and he completely deformed the other chair. So it was some pretty crazy shit. And then the main event, Pat Buck faced, I forget the other gentleman's name, but this is WrestlePro in Jersey. He faced him in the main event and the guy, he gave the guy a chair shot and the chair was wrapped in barbed wire. So it was a crazy show, but I love uh, WrestlePro Never Disappoints and I fought hard to get front row tickets. Highly recommend you guys look them up. And as Steve Austin would say, and that's all. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's all I got to say about that. Nah, that was a bad Steve Austin. I got a sore throat today, though. No excuses.